Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. And if you hear my voice a little, I am sick. Uh, my wife is sick, my three-year-old little bacteria is sick, and it's almost inevitable that I am gonna get sick. So with that being said, what we're gonna be doing today is installing a second hard drive to our laptops right here, right now. So what we're going to be using today is something called the MSATA SSD. It's a micro SATA hard drive that plugs directly into your PCIe slot. Uh, it's got the same pinouts and everything so it just goes right in. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description below on where you get that. Before we decide to go out and buy something, we're going to have to check to see if our laptop supports MSATA. Most laptops support it now but there's still some that doesn't support it. Now what I ended up doing because the manufacturer did not tell me if it supports it or not. I ended up typing in my model number and MSATA in the Google search and it'll come back with responses like, you know, people from forums if it supports it or not. Unfortunately, you're going to have to do some digging just to see if your laptop supports it. Now we are going to have to get a little bit hands on just to slide in one of these modules. So this is a good time to actually decide to purchase more RAM or anything else you need for your laptop since everything's going to be coming apart. Alright guys, so uh, if you notice on the bottom of my laptop, I actually do not have those modular bays where you could just take apart and have access to everything. So I ended up having to take apart the whole bottom of my laptop. Now from doing so, I actually unscrewed everything that I could unscrew, especially the big ones, and then um, slowly unclipping everything. Now every laptop is different. Uh, yours might be like mine. Yours might have a modular bay. Uh, if you get lucky, you might just have a modular bay. Now, after removing the bottom panel, you're going to notice that I have a slit where I could install this M SATA. And usually, it should come with a screw already installed. And that's what you have to remove, install the M SATA, then screw it tightly back in. Now, when you're done doing this, I wouldn't install anything back together yet. I would flip the laptop over and see if everything boots correctly. Now to do so, I would access the BIOS screen as soon as you boot up the laptop and verify that you actually see an internal hard drive. Now you're going to notice I have two and the top one will be my Samsung SSD that I just installed. So that was a little bit harder than I intended to be. Um, I didn't have a modular door where I could just take it apart and everything is easy to access. In my case, I ended up having to take apart the whole laptop. So that was a little bit harder than I intended. Now. Uh, having to install one of these little guys into your hard drive, for my primary use, it's going to be my primary hard drive. I'm going to install my operating system on this 250 gig uh, SSD, but in your case, you don't have to. There's something called uh, Rapid Drive. It's a software um, that you can install in Windows, and it's a software-based RAID which connects both the drives and enables disk caching. Now back in the day, SSD was extremely expensive, also with the MSATA. So I've done this before, I've used software RAID, and it greatly improves the responsiveness of your computer. Uh, what RAID disk caching does is basically, it reads and writes to the SSD first before it writes to the hard drive. That way you get the full speed benefit from the SSD. And then again, your data eventually gets written onto the hard drive. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any ideas for future episodes that you guys want to see, write that in the comments below. I want to read about it. And I try to answer everybody. It's been getting a lot more difficult recently because uh, more responses come in in a much shorter amount of time. So please be patient and I'll try to answer everybody that I can. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. It also gives you a notification of when my next episode is going to come out. And as I say in my nerd cave, heck till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.